hey guys welcome back to my channel my name is serena and in today's video we're going to be doing a birthday vlog this will cover the week of my birthday my birthday is on june 12th and this is a very busy week for me because i'm having a party on saturday but we're also celebrating my husband's birthday on the 10th this week so i have lots to do to get ready for my party we're going to do like a cute um fruit themed party on my back deck we've not had any celebration since we redid it about a year and a half ago um or two summers ago so i'm really excited to have people out there and to celebrate because we haven't really had a lot of gatherings with our family in the last year and a half two years so this is going to be a really fun time for us and so i'm going to be basically sharing little bits of the projects that i have to finish up this week um, because i don't really have time to do a behind the scenes video so it'll just be a lot of just what i'm doing um leading up to the party on saturday because i will be working on multiple projects i will not be going into detail about each of the items that i'm sewing but I will say that I did not use any techniques that I've not used in the past video. So if you would like, feel free to browse my behind the scenes video and I'll leave a card to that playlist in the corner. So this romper, this play suit, if you will, is supposed to be like a 1950s swimsuit. And I had to put in the boning channels and so the facing hem it and add a zipper but i didn't complete this project because i didn't sew at all for two days out of this week so i kind of ran out of time plus this wasn't um essential to my birthday this wasn't my birthday dress so it's okay if i didn't be it if i wasn't able to complete it i actually plan on possibly doing it um the sunday of my birthday or possibly that night depends on if I'm bored and I want to do something I'll finish that up but I did get as far as sewing all of the boning channels in so all I have to do is put the boning in and then carry on with the other steps so this birthday is particularly special well it's not particularly special except for that I survived a pandemic and a pandemic that's continuing so I'm continuing to survive this and you know keep two little ones healthy and of course since last year a lot of us were not gathering at all and we missed so much I'm really celebrating the opportunity to gather safely with my family I saw my mom maybe a total of two three times last year and one time was after I was six months pregnant, so she didn't see me at all. And then boom, I had a big old belly. And then the second time she came over the day that I was in labor to watch my oldest child. So it's like we miss so much of our lives, like our lives in general. And we're a really close knit family. And also this was a really special time for my family because my sister and I were pregnant at the exact same time. Our babies are three days apart. And we don't have any of those fun, really cute once in a lifetime photos of each other being pregnant. We saw each other once when she came over to help me with my oldest. Once again, I had a doctor's appointment and she came to help me and we were just like passing. So we never got any of those cute pictures. So um, we're just really glad to be able to get together safely this time. You know, a lot of us around the world are missing our families and we all have a lot of catching up to do. So I don't usually celebrate my birthday, certainly not with a party. Usually it's joint between me and my husband because our birthdays are two days apart. But this year I really wanted to do something just for me. And basically because I wanted to have like a themed party and I didn't want to make him have to have the exact same party as me because we we do always join our parties because we're just two days apart we usually go on a vacation and we don't feel comfortable going on vacation right now so we decided to have a small little backyard party um and then i think it's going to rain there's like a 40 percent chance that it's going to rain and where i'm from that pretty much means it's going to rain and it's been raining every day for a week so i kind of started decorating inside and I'm really disappointed about that but I'm just happy to be able to gather at all so I'm hoping that we can take it all down in the morning if it's no sign of rain and then put it all outside because I really wanted to have this as an outdoor party 
so it is fruit themed as you can see um the last project was like the watermelon striped project it was for my daughter it's a 1950s swimsuit and this one is a play suit and also has watermelon on it my husband's wearing a watermelon shirt and then i am wearing a l'amour dress by gertie it's a charm pattern and it has peacocks on it it's super cute i've been holding on to this fabric for two years and I, the first year I was afraid to make the dress, the second year I was pregnant, and so I finally got to make this dress with this fabric, the peacock fabric, and I'm so excited for it, and because I'm not wearing fruit in general, everyone will be wearing fruit, so my sister's family will be wearing pineapples, my family will be wearing watermelon, and my mom and, and my youngest sister, they'll be wearing lemons, and I'll be wearing a cute fruit turban, so I'm really, really excited about that, um, I want to thank you guys so much for following along. I know it's not like a typical vlog where I like meet you on each day and tell you what it is that I'm doing and carry you through the day. That's because I skipped two days. I was just so exhausted. I never got around to it. And so I kind of was just like, oh, I'm going to have to make do with like subtitles and text. After the baby's play set, I worked on my L'Amour dress and all I had to do was sew the lining down because I wanted to do the shoulder drape. However, I didn't have enough fabric for the shoulder drape after I cut the turban first. And really the turban was more important than the drape anyway. So I had to go without it. I have enough fabric to possibly make like a cute bolero to go with it. And so this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye.